Oh my god, this would be great if you had a very energetic dog, you know what I mean? And you're just too lazy, you like can't a, do with it. Like a, like a husky. See, yeah. I have a little wiener dog, and I feel like he's strong enough to pull me on a chair with wheels. I know, but like, Jared's dog Riley is like a tiny bee, so I don't know how much he could pull you. And he's bitten my face before, so. <laughs> okay, so he's small but fierce, he can do Thanks. it. <laughs> Oh my God, and this is lazy parenting 101. We've got your, your beverage, your beer there. You don't want to push your kid. It's like your fifth kid. You're just like, you know what, man? Just do it yourself. Honestly though, like I feel like it takes away from parenting. I would want to, like I said, I would want to push my child. Push your child? Yeah, on a swim, obviously. Okay, I was thinking something else. <laughs> and in front of his friends. <laughs> I just feel like this person, it's his fifth child. You know what I mean? We're over it. They can push themselves. Oh my God. No, this is actually peak. They didn't even make the cake. At least they put it in the cake tin. Oh god. But what's god. the point of that? Like at that point, like, dude, why tape it? Why not just put a hole? Why not just stab the candle in the- Why even have the cake box at all? Why even have a candle? <laughs> no, you might as well just put the goddamn candle in the in the in the cake, you know, <laughs> container and just call it a day. Like call it a day. Ha happy birthday, bro. <laughs> What did he get for his present? Like wrapping paper, wrapping plastic? I don't understand. Like I didn't get you a present, but here's the paper. Don't worry. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host for this one, Jared Bronstein. And I'm Eamon Hassan, and today we have the top 10 funny lazy people hacks. I am said lazy person, so I feel like this video is gonna be very helpful for me. I'm not that lazy. Like, I can be, but um, I don't know. I think so far from what we've seen, these people have like really peaked at the lazy, the lazy yeah. scale. I'm like I can be lazy. I These can. people are just like, it's tough for them to get out of bed because they're so lazy. You I know get what I mean? So I get like, it. Like, I haven't hit that rock bottom yet. No, 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 I'm, not, no. I'm, not, I'm not at that no, point yet. No. Stay tuned till the end of the video, guys, for our bloopers, for your comment <laughs> features. But without further ado, let's just get into it. What are we starting with, Jared? Let's start her off with a good old, you know what? 11's too many numbers to count. Let's just start with number 10. <laughs> Laziness level... level expert. What is he doing? <gasps> Oh my god, so he dropped that. He doesn't want to go out to get it, so he's getting his Yo. vacuum to suck Dude. it up. <laughs> I totally thought he was like trying to mop the concrete floor with his shirt, and I was like, there's nothing lazy here. This guy is just an idiot. But turns out I'm the idiot because he's <laughs> really a genius who does not have to leave his house to pick things up. Jared is an idiot exposed 2020. <laughs> We're rolling into our number nine slot. We've got Big Man, your bed isn't even that high off of the ground. What That's is That's a great this? idea. Imagine being a kid and having that every single morning. How do you get out of bed? I go down a slide. I start my day off on the right foot. <laughs> okay, well this guy is like 40 years old and balding and he's as tall as the slide. So I mean... You know what? I have to disagree with that because my parents always told me all grown-ups are just kids that are older. And it's true because at one point we were all kids. We've just grown up and we've grown facial hair and longer hair. And, and other things. And life life got harder and like it's harder to survive and like nobody told us that. You know, I spent a lot of my days just <laughs> figuring out how, <laughs> how, how I'm gonna do it. But you know, it's been 26 <laughs> years and I'm still trucking on, so. You guys can tell where our mental, mental capacity is at right now in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a goddamn slide. Moving on to number eight. <laughs> Isn't the trash can right outside your house? Why are you driving? Oh, he's driving it away. To the curb. He's driving to the curb. It's not so much more effort to get into your car than park near the trash can and roll it along with you. Well, it's possible that he was already going somewhere, but again, I feel like this is one of those things that the wheels just wouldn't go straight. So eventually I think it would just go into your car and it would just dent your car or it'd go the other way and then your arm would be like out while you're trying, you know what I mean? It would just be so counterproductive. Cause it's one of those wheels that that would not go straight. Yeah. That would tilt a little bit. <laughs> the better version is when it goes, I wanna see this live is what I'm trying to say, guys. I don't know about you, but I think it'd be very funny. The story Jared just told us had so many plot lines and twists, I can't even keep up. <laughs> yeah. It's better than Game of Thrones, if you ask me. Unpopular opinion. Anywho, rolling into our number seven slot, we have got... What? What is this? I don't even oh this my is lazy. God. Instead of what, putting in headphones? I feel like this is harder. <laughs> No, because obviously, like, you don't have time. You need to be on the phone. You have to be doing your other work. Just just put it over your head. You're bald. You may as well use your baldness for this. You know, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I could do it, too. Like, where's my... Look, I could easily... Oh, I'm on my phone, but I could do it with hair. I could do this. Look. <laughs> Get out of here, big man. Up next to number six. Yo, call it lazy. I call it genius. This is smart. I mean, a 
okay, but also, it's gonna get your hoodie all like buttery. And also, what kind of PC console is he using? It's not 2001. What is that? He has some kind of book for dummies. I can see it, the little yellow yeah. book there. That's some, who buys those books anymore? We have Google. Like, <laughs> what are you gonna buy? A book, how to use Google for dummies? And you're gonna just read for, how, how big could that book be? Three pages, open the internet. Next page, go to google.com. Next page, congratulations, you figured it out. <laughs> Maybe it was dummies, like how to, what is it? How to eat popcorn. How to be lazy? <laughs> how to eat popcorn for dummies. How to be lazy for dummies. This is how to be got. lazy for dummies? Just wear a hoodie and just, you know, throw some popcorn in that bad boy. Halfway through now, you guys, at number five, we've got. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I think it's smart. It's smart, but how much training would you need to have on this thing? Because I've ridden those and they're bloody they hard. Are, yeah, they're yeah, bloody they hard. hard. Like this guy has reached next level god tier if he's mastered that and just doing his groceries. But also, what? It takes two seconds to walk around the grocery store? Come on, big man. Well, I also feel very counterproductive because like, if you think about it, what if he has to get something on like a lower shelf? Like if you lean forward, you're going forward. Unless he somehow balances and then like squats down to get something from the lower shelf so he doesn't go back or forth. We don't know how good this guy's leg game is. We don't know how good his balance is. I know, but I'm saying just like, look at the fridge. If he has to open the fridge with one hand and balance and grab something, imagine that. Imagine him trying to do all that. It's it's almost as tough as the guy with the, with the, with the garbage <laughs> thing, almost. It's not as tough, but almost. Now at four, again, Ew, say what you want. No, I think it's genius. I back it. I think it's smart. No, I think that's. It's just cringy. I don't want to eat cereal out of a plastic bag. Like, and I won't get the right ratio of milk and cereal. That's what I'm trying to get. Dude, you go all the way down and scoop up. That's how you do it with any kind of cereal. What are you talking about? Even in a bowl. I know, you don't go from okay, the top in a bowl. You go all the way down and all the way up. Okay, like first of all, I love how you're trying to you teach from, me how to eat cereal, you go from, big man. You go from bottom to up when you wipe your bum. <laughs> I guess front to back. In this case, it's bottom to up. You get the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> Moving on to number three. <laughs> Could you not just put it on the TV? Like, put it on the TV. I don't get it. No, I mean, maybe someone's watching the TV. You know how hard it is to lie there? And half the time, actually, when I'm doing this, guess what happens? Ready? Yes. Oh, right? Phone right on the face every time. I don't know why we do it. It's not like we don't know we're holding something, yet for some reason, it just hits us in the face. Like, it's the dumbest thing. So, I applaud this kid. I applaud this mm -hmm. kid, too, but also... Wow. Honestly, I agree, but this kid is in a die situation. <laughs> I think his facial expression says it all. He's obviously not enjoying whatever he's watching. <laughs> he's pissed about it, dude. Yeah, because he has to watch it like that. I would be pissed too. Now up next at number two. <laughs> what? You know what this reminds me of? Did you, have you ever seen one of those like really long like spoons or forks that you can yeah, extend? Like, yeah, yeah. That's what it reminds me of. It's like one of those, like, like I wouldn't say like ignorantly long, but like... Obnoxiously long? Obnoxiously, yeah, 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 unnecessarily. This isn't ignorant, this is just absurd. This is absurd is what it is. I love how this is a furniture, furniture store. This guy came and sat on this massage chair with these straws. He had planned this out, this is premeditated. Yo, fully, I would bet anybody, although 100%, I will send the money because I know I am right. This is a Costco. I'll bet you $100. You know what, I got a five American here. I will bet you this $5 bill right here that this is a Costco. Okay, so, wrong, I'll give you the money. Okay, so we've gone from 100 to five bucks. Okay, I see how it is. Well, this is what I have in hand, but I can tell you right now, that meat sign, the red and white, Costco colors. The fact that they have a chair next to a mini fridge, next to clothes to the right of this gentleman in the black. No other store has the most random things in the world that no one actually needs. It has to be Costco. Sorry, I'm just saying, that's Costco. I mean, he said it. Maybe the drink was a sample, I don't know. And finally, swiping our number one spot, we have got laziness level 30. <laughs> this is so small. Honestly, if you don't want to get out, why have people Smart. not done this? Why have people okay, not I'm done sorry. this? Clearly you don't have a license, Eamon. I The car appears to be on because the lights are red. So why he's pumping gas with the car on? <gasps> well, he's gonna blow up this petrol pump, isn't he? Yeah, again, maybe it's just the battery, but again, regardless, why, why? You should not be doing this, dude. Like, just get out of the car. Yeah, you're a safety because, hazard. Literally, because <laughs> even if something does somewhat go wrong somehow, some way, <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. I stand this one. If he had turned the car off, I would have completely stand this one. I love no. it. Anyways, guys, that's it for the top 10 funny, lazy people hacks. You guys gotta let us know, obviously, if you want a part two. Smash that like button. Let us know which one you guys thought was, I'm gonna say the most impressive, because I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of impressed with some of these. <laughs> so was I, low key, low key. <laughs> and stick around, you guys, for the bloopers and comment features coming right up. I've been one of your hosts, Eamon Hassan. I've been your other host for this one, Jared Bronstein, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Number one? Yeah. That's you. No, it's you. Oh, it's me. I said two. 
Oh. I'm Eamon Hassan and today we have the top 10. Bruh. What is it? Top 10 funny hacks for Link. <laughs> I'm so. I can't wait till my kid sees these videos of me just talking so much. Like, I'm talking like 20 years down the road when I have a family and my kid yeah. just stumbles upon these videos and I'm just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push my kid. Like, he's just gonna be like, yeah. did you say that? <laughs> Dad, I heard you were talking shit. 